All right, so for a cylinder, if we make the net of a cylinder, basically we're unwrapping. We've got two circles on either end okay, of, this, of this prism. When we take a look, I think of a toilet paper or paper towel roll, that middle part, when we unwrap it or we unroll it, what shape does it make? Well, when we unroll it, it makes a rectangle, all right? Paper towel pieces, toilet paper pieces, they're rectangles, okay? And then these circles on either end, when we wrap the rectangle around them, that would create a cylinder. So that's our net for the cylinder, or one of the possible nets. Then for surface area, all right, we need every single side. So I'm gonna start with, we don't have a front, we're gonna start with the top. Now the top is a circle, and the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared. So if I get measurements for my particular uh, shape, I'm gonna say this is five centimeters and my height is seven centimeters, there we go. All right, pi is always gonna be 3.14 for us, okay, times radius, R stands for the radius. Now the radius is the distance from the edge of the circle to the middle, okay? That's the radius, and in this case, that's five. So 3.14 times five squared. So what this actually means is 3.14 times five times five. So now, I'm gonna actually calculate that. 3.14 times five times five is gonna give me 78.5 centimeters squared, okay? And it's centimeters because that's the unit they gave us and squared because it's an area. Then, if we think about it, the top is gonna be the certain shape. If we look at the bottom, the bottom's the same shape. It's still a circle, still has the same measurements. So the bottom is also going to be the same as the top, 78.5 centimeters squared. Then the final piece that we need to figure out is the middle. Now, if we think about the middle, the middle is a rectangle. So if we go back up here, it's a rectangle. And a rectangle's formula is length times width, right? Or base times height. Okay, they mean the same thing. So if we take a look, this here, this distance, that matches the height of my cylinder. So that's gonna stay the same. I'm gonna multiply the height. How do I get the base though, this length here? What does that measure as? Because they don't give us that in the question. Well, if you remember, if you think about a paper towel roll, this is actually what wraps around the circle uh, when we put the cylinder all together. The distance that you wrap around a circle is called the circumference. So we are actually multiplying height by the circumference. Well, the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So we're going to multiply 2 pi r times the height, and that's going to give us the middle section. So 2 pi r. So we're going to go 2 times 3.14 times the radius. If we go back to our picture, that's 5 times the height, which is 7. We plug that into our calculator. And we get 219.8 centimeters squared because it's an area. Okay, so now I found all of these little areas. We've got top, the bottom, and the middle. What we're going to do is we're going to add them all up to get the total area. And that's going to give us 376.8. Centimeters squared, and that's the total surface area of this particular shape.